Let's get this music back up to a reasonable volume. Checklist is checklist. It's where you can check on achievements and goals and the like. So how was the sound mix for you guys? New game, gotta check this stuff out. Music's loud a bit. There's an echo. There shouldn't be. Unless my mic is picking up the sound from my headphones, and that would be slightly improbable. The music is mostly ambiance and all that, <clears throat> for this game anyway. Not a lot of speech to deal with. Okay. So anyway, long live the queen. This is a princess raising sim. And if you get any Steam cards for it, they are all of ways the princess can die. So anyway... I would load a game, but I have no games to load. This is a fresh install. Oh, title screen. But yeah, achievements, deaths, epilogues, and title. The deaths, once you actually run into one of these, it fills in. That type of thing. Show this off. Achievements, a fair low fairly long list of achievements and trust me princess is gonna die princess is gonna die a whole lot so anyway let us get started shall we The story is, you play a princess, your mother, the queen, has just died, so you are about to become the new queen, and you have just so long to actually get ready for the role. This is your father, the king. As soon as you take the throne, he will just kind of go wherever it is former kings go. So yeah, basically he has arranged all the best possible tutors and all that to teach us how to be queen in a very short amount of time. When she turns 15, she's queen or she's dead, one of the two. She could be deposed, but that's fairly rare from what I remember playing. Well, yeah, I imagine your mother would have wanted to survive, but you know.
Meet Elodie. Elodie. But Elodie. And we will be ruling over the court of, over the land of Nova. And yeah, as soon as we get, as soon as coronation happens, he's going to go away, basically. But he will be here until then to guide us around. So let's learn about this game. We control Elodie, the Almost Queen, as she tries to prepare for coronation. To do that, she needs to take classes every week in order to raise her skills. The skills she learns will provide different choices in the ongoing plot. Learning the right skills can mean the difference between life and death. You also need to keep an eye on her mood. With her mother's tragic mood, Elodie is not very happy right now. The mood button will take you to the emotions screen for more details. Right now she is feeling both afraid and depressed, but her strongest emotion is depressed. If she becomes more cheerful to cancel out the depression, her strongest motion would then be afraid. Her current mood affects her ability to learn. It'll give her a bonus to some skills and a penalty to others. So let's go take a look at the skill screen. They're broken into four main categories. Social, physical, intellectual, and mystical. Hello, Dragonus. Inside these categories are skill sets, groups of three related skills. You'll start with zero in all skills. Because 14 year old girl. <clears throat> every week you study two skills. Normally she earns two points in the skill for every weekday she studies, so if she studies history at this exact point in time with no modifier to it, she will earn two points for five days for ten points. However, if she is depressed, she has a negative two penalty to the social the social skill set. I cannot talk for some reason. This is great to begin the stream. Conversation. She doesn't feel like talking, so if she tries to study conversation, she will earn two minus two points per day, which is zero points. However, she has a plus one bonus to the expression skill set which means that if she studies an expression skill, she earns 2 plus 1 points per day, which means 3 points a day, 15 points for the week. Sonia, she is not. No. So if you study a skill you have penalty for, you could be wasting your time. If you study a skill you have bonuses for, you learn faster. All these bonuses and penalties change depending on her moods. So basically, before you do any, uh, <clears throat> before you actually assign skills, you actually want to pay attention to what your mood is. <clears throat> the classes screen breaks down classes by category, and we have a lot of classes to go over, so it is safe to say in one run, you're not maxing out everything. You gotta pick what you max out carefully. Choose a class for both morning and evening classes, then click Done. As you play through the story, you'll see feedback bubbles. It'll tell you what happens behind the scenes. And test history failed, or you know, moods go up and down as the game as the game needs. So yeah, if you see a test. That's basically like a game checking your skill against a set value. So if you see something fail, that means we just didn't have quite enough points in that skill to actually pass that checkpoint. You can turn that off, but it would kind of hamper your ability to actually pass the game. So we have Elodie. Her mood, angry, chill, f she can be angry, cheerful, willful, or pressured, or on the flip side, she can be lonely, yielding, depressed, or afraid. She's either angry or afraid, or neutral. 
She's either cheerful or depressed or neutral. Willful versus yielding. Pressured versus lonely. I'm not sure how they decided those were the axes they needed to go with, but, you know, hey, not much we can do about that. And right now we do only have access to the boarding school uniform. As you complete different events in the game, we get more uniforms. I'm not going to spoil what those are, but you know. Yeah, cancel. Don't want to open the log. But right now, she has a positive to animal handling, a positive to expression, negative to athletics, conversation, demeanor, etc. No, there is not a game over for mood. Not directly. As far as I, I don't recall there being a bit if you keep her completely depressed if she'll commit suicide or anything like that, so I don't think, I think mood will just purely influence the skills. I don't recall any other, anything else it does. But if you look, each of these little sub, each of these categories is broken down into a few subcategories, and each of those subcategories is divided into individual classes. Like athletics, running, climbing, swimming. Agility, dance, reflexes, flexibility, that type of thing. These are what you, these are the individual skills you train up whenever you do classes. So anyway, yeah, this is not Reigns. We are not swiping right and left to uh, pick things here. So, more than likely we'd want to do expression and expression and or animal handling because we get bonuses in those. And handling animals is a whole lot of fun. Also, being able to express ourselves will be helpful as queen. And in the evening, let's go with animal handling. So, let's see which... Hmm... Let's make her a singer. And animal handling... Hell yeah, falconer. She gets to be a falconer. So, skills moves us up to 10. You practice deep breathing exercises to build up ability to sustain the notes. In the afternoon, we learn about trainable birds, preferred nesting sites, behavior, and food. And there's an event at the end of the week. What's all that noise outside? Who's there? The cousins and aunt and uncle. Meet Lucille, the Countess of Nix, who says she's sorry to hear about the Mother Fidelia. Meet Laurent, the Duke of Merva, who thinks we look well. And Charlotte, her cousin. So they're going to stick around for a full month. This is what this is the problem with the relatives that just drop by uninvited. I don't care if we have extra room in the castle. But this event gives her plus one cheerful. Yeah, but she ain't quite as manipulative as Celeste is. And once we finished with once we finished with the studies for the week at Nart our skill boost, we get various things that can help us out. We get mood, basically, enhancers, so to speak. And these can all, if you do these in certain points of the time, if I'm not mistaken, they can also manage to unlock events. So let's check our mood here. I don't recall what moods are good and which ones are bad for raising which, you know, various skill sets 
But let's say we want a happier princess. Maybe a happy and angry princess. However that works. So let's see if we can make her cheerful over the course of the next few minutes here. And plus one cheerful there. She will get yielding and she will get lonely, but she will get more cheerful. Attend service just makes her less depressed. It will not boost cheerful, but it will lessen depression. Visit the tombs makes her more afraid and depressed. Explore the castle makes her lonely and afraid. Attend court means she's more yielding, but she's more depressed and pressured. Talk to father does mystery things. Walk in the gardens is lonely and cheerful. Sneak out means you get willful and lonely. So let's just play with toys for the weekend. Childish, but we feel better. And her mood is now tied between depressed and afraid. But for some reason, it gives us afraid as our main mood. So if we look as if we are afraid, we get a bonus to agility training, we get a bonus to faith training, we get a negative to intrigue, we get a negative to military, we get a negative to weapons, negative to royal demeanor. So anyway, animal handling will not provide us much of a boost. Expression no longer provides as much of a boost, but we could study faith. And you may have noticed this lumen down here, which has sense, resist, and wield magic. That'll come into play later. Not immediately, but it will come into play later. So what do I want to boost now? We'll still get the 10 points out of it, but we just won't get the nice big boost we were used to. But I still want her to be a falconer. And let's see. Let's go ahead and make her a dancer, too. Why not? Dancing falconer that can sing. That could be one hell of a stage show. That's all I'm going to say. And as far as I know, it doesn't matter if you do it in the morning or the afternoon. It doesn't really, you could do either one. Doesn't really matter much. So subtle bonus there. There we go. Because animals are rad. And now there's a commotion outside. Juliana, Duchess of Ursul, has come to pay respects in honor of Mother. Who is apparently somewhat, um, you and your powers of my wife is dead. Ah, somewhat responsible for that. Okay. She and like every Lumen, I will only give my life if necessary to protect her domain. Your line has been traitors for 200 years. I won't have you corrupting my daughter. But that is for the crown princess to decide, yes. Your mother trusted me, and I have much to teach you. So we have choices here. We can let her stick around. We can have her arrested. Or we can send her packing. So let's see, do we side with father? Do we just say go away? Or do we think she might be important to the plot later? Eh, I'm gonna kick her out for now. I'm gonna say it now, the king is probably the one person you can trust in this whole mess. He doesn't always make good decisions, but you can trust him.
he actually does want what's best for you. Oh, don't worry. We will get to make her say. We will get to make her stay eventually, but not this time. But we didn't arrest her. We just sent her away back home. Is all we did. So now we finish studying. Oh, give it time. This gets so much better. We're back to depressed. I don't want more yielding. Did I play Mad Father? No. And her mood is now yielding. I'm going to work on that and get yielding away for now. Well, I will soon. But anyway, skills! Definitely cannot learn weapons when we're yielding. Can't learn magic when we're yielding either. We can learn faith, just not magic. So yep, we are still on pace to become a falconer that can sing and dance. So we will keep that up. We learned what a nasal voice sounds like. Good. And we learned how to maintain falconer equipment. Okay. And we have a meeting with Charlotte here. Where we ask her about a boyfriend. Yes, divination. Apparently she does not have a boyfriend, but she likes to play with flowers. And there is a snake. Right where we were going to sit. Uh, the art of finding water is dowsing. So, to f to deal with the snake, we grabbed a snake to stick to push the snake away but didn't do it right and it only makes us makes the thing angry and then it bites us the snake slitters away but it's too late a strange tingling sensation begins to spread through our flesh and that was a milk viper who are poisonous we don't feel good we stumble and fall to the ground. Our cousin kneels beside us and presses our hair hands over the bite mark. The area of pain throbs painfully, then begins to feel warm. After a minute, our leg isn't buzzing anymore. We're still dizzy, but the wound is gone. She doesn't know how she did it, she just can. Nope, your secret's safe with us. Nothing going on. You had to open your mouth, didn't you, Elodie? snake you're you're seriously leaving over a snake okay then so let's see working on becoming more cheerful
and her mood is now lonely. Okay. So being lonely hurts our faith, our intrigue, and our royal demeanor. And doesn't really give us a bunch of bonus benefits too many places except in the important areas. And let's go back to dancing. So we... Okay, we can turn while keeping our eyes closed now. Okay. And we have a falcon that might actually like us now. At least to get to know us. So, seems quieter with those three gone. We get more servants every day. You know, honestly, I can't remember how important dancing, singing Falconer is actually going to be in the grand scheme of things. But, you know, we'll get to find out over the course of the next few hours. So, let's see here. Good, everything is still getting bonuses. We could do medicine, but nah. Medicine's got a boost, but nah. Could also do conversation, but nah. We learn vocal ranges. And we learn how to hold the bird. Okay. So now if I want to increase Falcons beyond 50, we have to get the other animal handling skills at 25 or above, which means we have to burn a couple of sessions doing the dog and horse to get it any higher. And the maid wants our attention. And couriers have arrived from the Duke of Sedna. And our foreign intelligence and foreign affairs fail completely, so I, we don't know anything about the Duke of Sedna. Strange, but our maid says, no, we do not have a duke. But that is a foreign, apparent, a foreign group from Talas. Okay. They brought us a letter and a gift, huh? Okay. Condolences of death of, deep regret, best wishes. And a beautiful necklace. Something sparkly will make me feel better. And apparently she just puts it on with, you know, absolutely no prompting whatsoever. Okay, her mood is bottomed out lonely, but cheerful is up, so if I can start reducing lonely without affecting cheerful. So 
So I'm gonna have to start bothering dogs and horses to get any further there. positions and learning about breeds of dogs. And Celine, the priestess of the second circle, wants to speak with us. So our lore, we had a lore check there that just failed and said, you know, blah blah blah, power of Lumen. Now that she is gone, that responsibility falls to you. Her power of Chris or crystal is now yours. Father says I shouldn't get involved in magic. But if we don't, who will defend the domain if the Krakens rise again? Danger is coming. I can teach you to control your powers, but you must first seize your birthright and become a Lumen. Eh, sure, why not? But how? Find the royal crystal, he will know where it is. So we have something we need to do for the weekend. We gotta talk to Dad. And find out what happened to the Lumen Crystal. It's in a safe place. Can I have it? No. But it's mine! Meddling with magic killed your mother, I don't want that to happen to you. Once you're crowned queen, I can't stop you, but for now you're still a child. So our mood is still pretty freaking lonely. And continue to work through dogs. Voice and dance are just about at 50. Large giant squid doom could be. So now that we've got our skill up to 50, we have an other we have a new thing available on the weekends. We can do ballroom dancing, which will give us a different mood bonus. But yeah, now we are decent enough at ballroom dancing. And we learn how to groom and learn about the diseases and injuries dogs suffer from. As you are walking up the stairs, a maid comes running down holding a towering pile of linen. Before you can react... Now oh, my reflexes suck that bad, huh? Well, yeah, I haven't been working them. I've been working dance. She barrels into you, sending you and the sheets flying. And it's Alice. And we failed court manners check there, which means if we had had enough court manners, there would have been a third option that popped up here. But we don't. But let's go ahead and apologize. No need to be evil to the servants. So anyway, yeah, attending the ball gets us plus one cheerful and plus one pressured, which is exactly what I need to start being. We are affected by loneliness. So let's keep an eye on our mood here. We are still lonely for the time being. Which we need to work on expression voice to boost that up. And horses.
And with voice, we learn the soul fa system. Okay. Which, you know, do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. And once again, we learned the breeds and the different names for the different bits of horse anatomy. Get your mind out of the gutter, we mean more like croup and muzzle and, you know, fetlock and the, thi and the like. There's a man here to see us, now that we've gotten into the new week, who wants crown funding for a project of his. Remember, the treasury's not unlimited. If you choose to invest, we have less money to work with later. And he eventually, he apparently created a printing press. Okay. And he needs 875 lossy, which is money. Reading is good. Reading is good. But our production and our trade failed. So we automatically reject him because our production and our trade values were too low to realize how important this could be. Oh, we will use money at different points. I will say that. We just haven't gone to the treasury to learn just what our monetary status is because we've been too busy dancing, singing, and playing with animals. And now that's cheerful, Elodie. A cheerful Elodie gets a bonus to athletics and conversation. Not much else. But we still gotta go with horses. And now we need to go with reflexes. Even though reflexes would have helped us out earlier, they may help us out in the future. So to learn reflexes, we get poked at, literally where we learn to block the things. And we learn how to groom horses. And we have now unlocked a new outfit. And Banyan, the Duke of Marie, Earl of Serenititis. Your Highness, my sin thanks for your loss. Even after all these years, I sometimes forget that my own mother will not be coming back. Banyan has the look of smug prick. That could be just a look, though. However, let's call for aid. The Ixianite occupation of the country of Imbrium has gone on for too long, and it's time to push back. And we have no knowledge of foreign affairs, so we fail a, che fail a check. And we failed a military check. And because we failed those, the only real choice we have, I believe, I don't think it's going to come, come up with another one, I will send diplomats. Send for diplomats and try to come up with a diplomatic solution. And he asks about the necklace. And yeah, that's, imagine someone sitting there poking her with a stick, you're not far off. They're just sitting there poking her with their index finger. That's what that text implies. Just walking around her and poking at her. I'm not touching you. I'm not touching you. Gift from the Duke of Sedna. Of course, because we knew absolutely jack all about the necklace. That necklace, have you have made arrangements with him? Yeah, court manners failed. Yeah, 
the necklace was basically a courting gift. So, you know, he wants our hand in marriage. Apparently, this does not prompt us to take the thing right the hell off. I don't know why, but you know. I like cheerful Elodie, but now we have a new outfit to put on. We actually have hunting coat, which boosts animal handling. Yes, the new outfit you can unlock will give you bonuses to your skills. So we will put on her riding gear, at least until we get something new. So cheerful is topped out, so now I just need to make sure whatever I do, I don't lose that. It could happen. <laughs> so let's see. And since we got that, we get a 10 point boost in all our animal handling skills. Let's see, we need to keep up reef. Well, we need to do another. We need to do a round of flexibility, and now we can go back to Falcons. So we learned how to meditate and do yoga. And we feed the bird while it's on our glove. Nifty. So with our complete and total lack of any type of court sensibilities, we have to deal with diplomats from Ixion. And now we meet Bryn, the Duchess of Hellas, the other half of the super smug pair here, although she looks more angry. Novan history failed. Boy, that's asking quite a bit, isn't it? Transfer the rights to the province. And forget about the unprovoked attacks, huh? Yeah. Somehow I don't think bluffing and, you know, intimidating would work too well. But we have a choice. We can surrender the province or we can pay them money to get them out of the province. I'm going to pay them money. in my riding gear. Eight thousand lossy. Nah. So we could try to bluff and intimidate our way through this. Yeah, let's threaten war. Why not? What's the worst that could happen? Now we have to fight. Good job, me and Elodie. Oh, let's see, lonely, pressured. could have sworn we actually had the treasury. Huh. We're still happy about going to war, though. 
falcons, and yeah, reflexes. And reflexes, we work with a jump rope. Okay. So we're getting kind of good at dealing with the falcons. And we receive a report on the outcome of the battle. We won the fight, but it cost us about a battalion of soldiers and a bunch of materials. We lost a thousand soldiers. We could have done better, maybe. And now the Duke of Sedna will be coming for an official visit next week, while we have the necklace. So let's talk to our father again. Why didn't mom fix the trouble? And, yeah, as suspected, the Duke and Duchess were told that it was their problem to deal with and they needed to sort it out without our intervention. So everybody wants to see what type of queen Elodie's going to be. The spoiler is a dead one very soon at some point. And she lost her cheerfulness because of those events. Now yielding is up there. So we will have to fix that by having her escape the castle on a nice little romp. Which oddly enough I don't believe has a possibility to kill us. But you know how that goes. Anyway, skills. Animal handling is going to get a boost. much else I really care about. Let's see, let's go ahead and do flexibility. Finish off falconing. So we're doing ballet now. And we have unlocked a new outfit again. And now falconing is maxed out. Now this looks like Togami. And we did not pick up on the flattery. We can die from many things, mostly indirectly. Of course he wants to marry the queen. So let's see, should we accept his offer? Nah. <laughs> that may not have been gentle. So let's go visit Celine again. I guess we haven't done that. Nah, let's actually make willful. There we go. And she's back to happy again. But now, we have a tutu that boosts agility. So now she's in the tutu. 
She's gonna hold court in this tutu. At least once. So anyway. 14. She is 14 years old. See. So agility's getting a boost. I can work on dance. But let's go ahead and work on expression some more. Get the instrument and decoration up. Yes, we are the worst ruler ever. I can work on both those at the same time, can't I? So dance and inst Actually, I can do instrument and decoration just to give speed that along, can't I? So we look at the nature of beauty. Not the beauty of nature, although kind of. Basics of harmony and rhythm. So now we must stand in judgment, wearing our tutu. A woman has been convicted of attempted murder and requests the mercy of the crown. Highness, this slattern dares beg pardon when she admits she tried to poison my sister under her own roof. Which sister? Grisanne, Duchess of Mead. We know nothing about that. Is she alright? She is unharmed. We cut the culprit in the kitchens before anyone could eat it. What do you have to pay, say for yourself? We do not get a picture of the condemned woman. Who says it's justice? She wouldn't see why she'd not come back. She's gone for soldier when he never would. Hang her and be done with it. So let's see. We don't really have an option to let her free if we thought this was actually justice. At least, not without passing some of those checks that you saw pop up. So I want you guys in chat to think about what do we want to figure? What do we want to... Well, what do we want to focus on on run number two? What type of skills do we really want to boost up? Because you're seeing these failures scroll by for like history and internal and foreign affairs and all that. So think about what skills you might want me to work on for run number two while we're doing this first run. So we can imprison her, we can put her to work, or we can just outright kill her. You know what? All things considered, I think we need to put her on a work release program because she may very well have had a legitimate grievance that didn't get sorted. But you guys want a prisoner. Okay. Life in prison. And because life in prison makes her angry, she breaks loose from her guards and rushes at us. In our court dress, we are unarmed. We grope for a weapon and find only a heavy golden ornament, which we hurl in her direction. And we fail an archery mark. Before we have a chance to do anything else, our personal guards step into action, cutting the woman down before she can endanger you. And she lays lifeless and bleeding on the carpet. Clean that up! Metal as hell sometimes, even in the tutu. Okay. So we need to visit Celine to learn where the crystal is being hidden. So she does her magic stuff. And we have failed divination. 
kept in the treasury under guard, must have been ordered to keep us out. We must find a way past the obstacle. Like what? Use your skills or find some way to dispose of them. You don't have to kill them. There are other ways. So yeah, Celine really needs us to get a hold of that crystal for her own peace of mind here. We're still happy even though we have to kill guards. <coughs> so let's see here. We can, yeah, let's keep working on that so we can bring our voice up some more. Oh yeah, it's getting a little dark, isn't it? Just a tiny bit. Okay, that one's above 25. I don't think we want to send people to the moon. And we have now unlocked a new outfit. Assuming we survive. As we are walking one day in the garden, we hear a strange sound and look up to see an owl flying overhead. A single dry leaf flutters in its talons. But you notice that Test Falcon's success means we know about birds. We do not know about divination. But we know that seeing a falc a, seeing an owl flying overhead in broad daylight is unusual, and we wonder if something attacked it. But we don't understand the meaning of any mystical divination that it could be, you know, taken care of. We can send them to a dungeon. We tried, and, well, she broke loose of her restraints and lunged at us. There are reports that a key thong has been sighted leaving the old forest. But we don't know what a key thong is because lore and Novan history fail us. A beast with the body of an enormous golden cat, a sharp beak, and spikes on its back. Several disappearances in Southern Calaris have already thought to be the work of this creature. We're good with animals, right? Send hunters. The traditional policy is to just hope they fuck off and go somewhere else. That's our policy. Hunters would probably be a better policy. I'm just saying. Eh, fair enough. Just in case you ever really want to know about these people, we can click the buttons up here, the, the question mark here, and it gives you basically the rough line of them. Yeah, so we just let it eat people? Everyone dies in the end. Dark much? This does not make Elodie happy. So here we have the treasury. What you want to bet we have no way to convince the guards to go away. Accounting and presence have both failed us. If we were accounting, if we had high accounting or we had high presence, we could walk our way in there. But we're still happy. And let's take a look at our new outfit, which will give us a bonus to expression. It is a toga. With, you know, the little fancy arm decorations that come with a toga and a leg band. 
we'll hold court in that end, Laurel. We'll hold court in that, won't we? Well, let's see. We can do voice and dance now. So we learn solo ballet. And we work through dynamics, so we're becoming a decent singer and dancer. And now we have to remember that the Festival of the Good Lady is approaching. Public celebrations for commoners, followed by a grand gala for nobility. A grand ball. There will be dancing. As queen, we have expected to be, take part and give a speech. It is not required, and it may not be safe to expose ourselves to the public. What do you mean, not safe? Yeah, we are less well protected. Say that to the woman who got to be cut down by her personal guard bleeding on her carpet. And if anyone means us harm, well, we can think on it and decide later. And we have a letter. From Bryony. Whose mother is the Duchess of Mead. You may recall. And her mom won't let her come home for the holidays, huh? And Uncle Kevin has been acting strangely lately and shouting at shadows. Bored and looking for an adventure and we don't have any to suggest to her. Let's attend ball. Okay. If we get that far, you'll see. You will see. So let's see, expression is high, agility is high, good time to study them, like I was going to do anything else. We learn how to tell a story and cover the whole floor with a dance. We sing familiar songs in a choral and practice singing in harmony. So, the procession and planting for Festival of the Good Lady, would we be leading the parade? Hey, Frostfang. So let's see, do we want to make a speech? Do we want to just lead the parade or do we not want to go at all? Let's do everything. There's no possible way this can go wrong, right? In our toga. So we walk slowly through town with attendants, etc., etc. We fail decoration and elegance. At the end of the route, we help to turn over the earth and the new tree. 
And we hold for silence so we can speak. And freeze up due to stage fright. Yeah, you said you were having trouble with Suradart last time. I'm sorry to hear that someone you used to follow turned out to be not so nice a person. So we failed speaking. We no talk good. And we all regrouped to return to the castle. And nothing bad happened. Although there are things that could happen very, very poorly. Let's try to visit the treasury again. Nothing's, in, nothing's improved. But you know. Let's see, one more shot in voice and dance may do, f may fill those out, and then we'll have to look for new things to study. Oh no. Let's add sword. Well, we can't add swords until I do something, but. And let's make her athletic too, after we finish with voice and dance. This is Long Live the Queen. That is maxed out. Almost maxed out, but good enough, close enough to count for our purposes. Are we ready for the Grand Ball? All the nobles in the domain are here to see you as their queen. All around the rich and powerful pause. And we fail everything. I don't even know what the Avion series is. We failed a lot of things there. None of the... We failed in all the things that we're not dancing, apparently. So we have no idea who to... Uh, who, sh who we should pick here. We can pick someone our age, we can pick someone younger, we can pick someone older, we can pick someone already married, or we can pick someone truly scandalous, which I think the already married would fall into, but hey, dims the brakes. But yeah, I don't, I, like I said, I've never heard of the Avion series. So let's go with someone scandalous. Because we're already in deep, deep trouble with everything. So we approach the Duchess of Hellas for a dance. feel deliciously wicked at the expression of shock on her face, but it soon fades into something more ambiguous. Her hand in yours is warm and too late. You wonder if you're playing with fire. Dancing with a real partner feels it's quite different than dancing with your father. You knew him who his steps like a part of you. Now every move is a mystery. Although, dance success. Of course, you are an excellent dancer and you relish the chance to show off your hard-earned skills. 
It isn't nearly as much of a showcase as a stage performance, but you can easily impress guests with your style and technique. Between dances, time for guests to mingle, chat, and example tiny bites of food. Yeah, I might. I could look into it. I don't know. Like I said, I've never heard of it, so I have no idea if it's, um... I have no idea if it's actually, you know, anything up my alley. But I may take a look at it. And, of course, we fail court manners and flattery. After Banyan here decides to tap a nail against the glass and get everyone's attention. He wants to offer compliments. Her bravery and courage keep our borders defended because, well, we helped him out. Someone we don't see, Gwinnell, the young lady of Sudbury, only months older than you and due to finally inherit control of her duchy. Adele, the youngest daughter of the Duchess of Lila and a fierce sportswoman. And is the absolute terror of the ball fields. Bryony said her parents were leaving her stuck at school this season. But her parents are here. And no sign of our cousins. Your aunt and uncle are here. And we did not sense any magic. Oh well. But with that little bit out of the way where we committed just about every faux pas there is except for actually dancing. needs to go up a little bit. Hmm. Yeah. Keep in mind, this is walking around all weekend. So let's see here. We've essentially gotten voice, dance, and falcons maxed out. Essentially. As long as we keep this on, it, it will be maxed out. So, I think we need to add something to our repertoire. So let's work on athletics, shall we? There's no way this can be a terrible thing. about Black Butler. I don't know. I know it's an anime. That's about all I really know. Never seen it. Maybe one day after I get caught up on all the other shows, anime, etc. that I have to get caught up on. Like I Shield 21. Someday I'm going to pick that series back up. Assassination Classroom. Need to pick that one back up. I hear I need to watch Stranger Things. But you know. Recording videos takes up a lot of time, really. Fair enough. And we have received a bouquet. The flowers are unusual, long spikes of red, thick with nectar and emitting a strong fragrance. Nothing like the delicate blossoms in most vases. And we know nothing about poison or court manners. Who sent them? The Duchess of Hellas. 
the person we danced with at the ball. Why not? Let's accept them. We will put them on display. We are moving with such enthusiasm as we go to see our father, we don't realize he has a companion. Siren, the Countess of Miranda and Callisto. Not a member of her circles, but a bit more than a decade your senior, far too old to have ever been your friend. And yet not all old as noble women go. Two minor titles, no husband, and <gasps> your father's arm in her grasp. How dare she make a move on your father? Um, he can get back in the dating scene if he wants to, I'm just saying. We're not going to be good at any of these. We'll just do the silent scorn. Our presence is low enough that she didn't notice. Huh. I can just imagine that sound being accompanying that face there. Perhaps. Hey, our father deserves to be happy. Like I said, he's just going to go wherever he's going to go after we become queen, so why not? <laughs> Don't give me that look, young lady. I've said that a few times in my life. Not under the same circumstances, but you know. Probably. What's your point? You accidentally bit your thumb. How do you accidentally bite your thumb? That's not going to happen anytime soon. Which is fair. Elodie, come on, man. Stop the jealousy act. haven't been any problems so far eating oranges oof you know I was just thinking if you bit your thumb hard enough to actually draw blood while you were eating the oranges that could sting you must be aware of everything around you No, you're not. You're paying attention to dancing, birds, and singing. And now running and climbing. The king, well, dowager now, is at least in his mid to late twenties, at the very least. I forget his exact age. Still happy, Elodie. Okay, so skills. Okay, we are still getting the decent bonus to athletics there, so we will continue to work there. So we're learning how to do distance running, apparently. And now we have to make adjustments to the royal budget.
and we know nothing about accounting. You know what? Let's lower taxes. We aren't using our money for much. Okay. So in all that time, we have completely failed to get the crystal out of the treasury. And because we couldn't get in there, she might have to kill the guards. Why not? So, since we let her do that, illness strikes the castle. A number of servants report feeling ill, but most recover by morning. Only a few guards, mostly those on duty at the treasury, are found dead, their lungs filled with water as if they had drowned on dry land. Nothing is stolen, at least nothing that is acknowledged publicly. But when you look at your father's face, you can see it in his eyes. The crystal is gone, and he knows that you are to blame. He will never trust you the same way again. Wah, wah, wah. Oh, let's see, those have all bumped up some. Climbing and swimming need another boost, though. This should get us another, um... This should get us another outfit. It does. So we have been requested to stand in judgment again. A man has been convicted of the murder by strangling of his wife. He doesn't deny the act, but requests a pardon that he might be set free. Yeah, why would we set him free if he admits he did it? And he says demons made him do it. Good, he's insane. wife found me screaming. She tried to shake me in the chains wrapped around her. I need the priestess to bless me and make me clean again. And unfortunately, we still can't sense any magic. So, we see what happens if we try to imprison someone. But he is specifically looking to not die. And I can't imagine dying, you know, sensing that executing him. If he really does have demons in him, how well could this really go for us? So I'm going to let you guys decide. Do we want to let this guy go? Do we want to put him in irons? Or do we want to just kill him outright? I'm letting you guys pick this one. We got one vote for pardon him. One vote for kill.
One vote for imprison. And then another vote for kill. So two votes for kill, I believe. Yep, two votes for kill. You will be hanged in public as a f deterrent to future criminals. He opens his mouth to argue with, her with you further, but his shoulders slump. Yes, your majesty. So anyway, now that we know she did something to just basically wreck a whole bunch of people's nights... to keep going. The crystal must merge with your flesh, binding its energy to you, and it will become a part of you for as long as you live. Hold it in your hands, feel it against your skin, place it on your chest, and believe. I do believe in fairy tales! I do! Everybody clap. Please clap. Yeah, and we just had a Sailor Moon moment. We didn't get the outfit, though. And now we can train in the use of the powers. So in other words, she's a secret Lumen. Kind of. And our mood has completely changed. We are now willful. And of course, actually, we haven't gotten to see it yet, but... Sports bra and gym shorts. And a headband. With a towel. Exercise gear. So now, lucky for us, I can actually switch and start learning Lumen stuff. Because I've got a bonus to it, as long as I can keep this bonus going on. As long as I can keep her willful, I can now start learning Lumen stuff. So since resist and wield magic should probably be pretty important now that we've gotten a crystal. If I'm not mistaken, this is actually really, really late in the game to start learning Lumen stuff. But, you know, better late than never, right? And now, we received word of an unfortunate incident at the gallows where the man you judged was sent to be executed. As he was led to the platform, he suddenly lashed out with explosive magical power, killing several guards and spectators before making his escape. The population is buzzing with rumors of a secret cabal of evil lumens who sacrifice innocence in their dark rituals. So that sucked. Okay, anyway, let's make sure Willful stays up.
So since magic's up to 31, wield magic, where we learn to make a firefly, apparently. And we learned that Fabian, the Earl of Titan and Duke Regent of Eleth, has passed away. Even though he was really old, so not a surprise, but there are political implications. With the control in doubt, it falls to the crown to make decisions about Eleth. Young Lord Adair will not reach his 15th birthday for two years and requires a regent. His stepmother has petitioned that the boy be left in her care. That would, however, leave her in personal control of two neighboring duchies, which is generally forbidden. Almost the entire Eastern Borden, we know nothing about Noban history. But we know nothing bad about her either. The boy has a living grandfather, the Earl of Ishtar, or you might appoint an unrelated noble to act in his stead. The Ish Ishtar has also suggested another possibility. You and Adair are both young, not too far apart in age. Which we could accept the boy as a future husband and keep him here at the castle. So let's see, we could leave him with the woman who can control two parts. We can send him to another elderly person. We can marry him and stick him in our castle. Or we can send him to our uncle. Hey, you know what? Let's send him to our uncle. Nothing bad can happen there. So now we resist light and dark. And we learn to create discs of light which can cut into things. Magical saw blades. And we have now unlocked a new outfit. By studying magic. There's a woman here to see us who is a musician and wishes patronage. Which means money. Very good. Sabine, Royal Highness, if you accept me as a member of the court, I will immortalize you in word and song. That old musical styles can entertain your guests. But we've failed checks there too. But we know enough about instrument and voice to know that she's not a spectacularly, um, spectacularly talented musician. But sure, why not? Go visit the treasury and still can't get in. So, we literally now have a magical girl outfit. Magical girl Elodie. pretty much even. Fair enough. Sense and resist are the two lowest, though. <coughs> Don't 
So we're learning to detect enchantments and silent spells. And do short-lived magical shields to gain, and also gain resistances in heat and cold. And be able to sip hot soup without burning our tongue. Fair enough. And we receive a letter from the young lord we went to send to live with our with our uncle. And he likes it there. With more frogs. And wants to see a fort. Fair enough. <clears throat> Actually... See, so yeah, sense and wield are two lowest. So we learn about magical intent with our sensing. And now we can create a light and now we can create a lightsaber. Nifty. A strange flash of light means we fail a logistics and trade check. A falling star, pretty divination also fails. and wheel now. So now we can, along with the lightsaber, now we have magic missile apparently. Through the end of a staff. Neat. Level deflection shields. Neat. And we have unpleasant news to report. The Duke of Sedna has instituted high tariffs and trade restrictions at the LF border. Business is disrupted and growing shortages of supplies. So we better send some aid. Keep people fed. So, let's see. Skills... Yeah, we will do Sense and Resist this time. You learn to detect latent power, expand senses, and learn to detect lingering traces. We learn how to counter offensive magic with our own power so we can burn out spells. This is good. We have letters for us from Bryony, who keeps writing us even though we were never friends. Bored, lonely, and looking forward to seeing us at a birthday party coming up. Hmm. Stream says that it's offline.
So is anybody else? Well, it doesn't help if I say it, does it? I suppose I could have asked in the stream if anyone else was seeing it, but that would have been like, raise your hand if you're not here, huh? Okay. Okay. So, yeah. Sorry, Amonymous. Oof. That's not good. Huh. So Gwinnell is about to actually turn 15 for realsies. Other letter must be my invitation to her birthday celebration. And it is a long way to travel. We should still attend that, right? A lot of things can happen on the road. And we failed divination again. So, skills, sense and resist magic are all maxed out now. So now we just need to do wield. And, oh, let's see. What would be good? Let's go ahead and learn how to swim. Now climb. Let's learn how to climb more. It would help if I click the right section. We are now a fully fledged out magical girl. On our journey to Sudbury, the carriage is attacked by bandits. You look down in shock at the arrow which has buried itself in your side. Outside you can hear screams and curses, but it feels unreal. Your world is centered around pain. You struggle with the arrow, afraid to pull it loose. You heard a story somewhere about pushing arrows through the body, so you brace yourself and give it a shove. Unfortunately, this only drives the arrow deeper into your vital organs, turning the painful wound into a fatal one. We have been arrowed. That was sudden, wasn't it? So now that we have seen and well, by some accounts, unsuccessful run. I will be right back, and those of you in chat can kind of look and kind of think what we need to actually focus on for the next run. But I will be right back.